Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator, where last time we built a 10,000 horsepower Lamborghini Aventador. It was an amazing vehicle. If you missed that video, I will link to it down below. But today, we are working on... I'm not gonna lie, the only way to describe it is a bomb. We can go and fix it up, do some customization, and maybe even turn this thing into a bomb on wheels. There's another Aventador. It's taken like 20 minutes. Say hello to the Dodge Charger from Fate of the Furious. This is Dom's Ice Charger. Take a look. <laughs> Ice Charger cost $205,000. Bruh, it's done 200,000 kilometers. This is seriously such a cool looking vehicle. It is so wide. It is ridiculous. Before we get too far into this, I want to start it off with the welder. It looks terrible right now. We will bring that over, our interior detail kit as well. We'll spend a thousand bucks on our welder. Oh my god, it already looks so good. Use our interior detail kit for a hundred bucks. Thank you. And we are already doing so, so much better. We've got to remove the bomb from the rear. Thank you very much. And there's your exhaust pipe. That is definitely a strange looking thing. The ice charger actually has like a very intricate suspension system. We are not going to be setting any world records today. Look how many parts there are back here and every single one of them is rusted out. This is not looking good. You guys want a fun story about the ice charger from real life actually? You guys want a fun story about the ice charger from real life? Well, as the story goes, it was back in 2017 and I was actually invited to the premiere of Fate of the Furious. This premiere is happening out in Hollywood, so I'm flying from Montreal where I live out to Hollywood, right? And I shit you not, I get on the plane and who is sitting next to me? Chad Lindbergh. You may recognize him because he is Jesse from Fast and Furious. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. My mind has already been blown and I haven't even watched the film yet, right? Anyways, I get to LA, we go to the Fast and Furious premiere, super, super cool. And what do we do the following day? Well, we got a hookup to go to the Fast and Furious garage where there were all sorts of vehicles from Fast and Furious. At this garage is just about everything from Fast and Furious you can imagine, like this thing, like this thing, you can see some more in the background. This thing was also in the garage, amazing vehicle. One of the vehicles that was there was the Dodge Charger Ice Charger. Anyways, the guy who runs the garage, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he was like, yo, you guys want to see the ice charger turn on? And we're like, man turns on the ice charger from Fast and Furious. And this thing is a monster. It starts spitting flames that are like this long right out of the side exhaust. The exhaust for this thing comes out right over here. What the guy revving it didn't realize he had his own car parked right next to it. He lit his own car on fire with the ice charger from Fast and Furious. <laughs> it got it got a little toasty in the Fast and Furious garage that day. That's my fun story about the ice charger in real life. Super, super cool vehicle. After our lovely story like that, we've only got to remove our brake servo. Thank you very much. And the ice charger has been stripped apart. This is our engine that we're gonna be building, a 707 horsepower Dodge Challenger Hellcat engine. Let's go, this is gonna be sick. We're even getting the upgraded parts in to make it even faster. Yo, we got two spark plugs for, per cylinder on the Hellcat. Does anybody actually know if this is legit? Do Hellcats actually have two spark plugs? 
per cylinder? I, I, I didn't know this game could do that. Well played. Supercharger swapped on. All right, that is what I'm talking about. We've got to get all the boring stuff in, like our flywheel. That is so much extra horsepower, though. A clutch plate. Thank you. Pressure plate. Thank you. See, that's where we just get so much horsepower. Engine install the new Charger Hellcat engine. Oh boy, does that look good. All right, that engine looks so sick in there. All right, let's get all of the suspension back onto this car and then we can seriously get modifying this thing again. I'm pretty sure we've got the entire suspension for the front done. Literally, there are so many parts aren't here. That is crazy. Look at that car value now. We are doing so well. I guess it's now time to get some wheels for the ice charger. So before, what were we running? Before, the ice charger was running the same size front tire and rear tire. So that makes our life way easier. It is also running off-road tires. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, they may or may not have a Maserati logo bang in the middle of them, but I think those are pretty cool. They've got some nice little poke to them. They look really good in the wheel arch. I think this is gonna be good. Hopefully the front tires fit. Oh, those are definitely on the aggressive side, but that's okay. Let's finish up this vehicle. Let's get this hood installed. That is looking good. Oh, our engine kind of sticks out the top. That's fine. That's fine. Everybody will know how fast we are. Windows will get them in. There we go. The left fender. That is... I don't actually know what that is. We will get the bomb installed on the rear as well. That's sick. We've also got our rear bumper. That looks super mean. That looks awesome. We've even got a very aggressive diffuser down there. All right. We might as well also get installed our steering wheel. Look at our Dodge Charger. Actually, it's a Dodge Viper steering wheel. That's sick. An hour and a half later, our ice charger is finished. Let's go give it our first test drive before we get into ruining this vehicle. I kind of just want to see if it works. I kind of hate to say it, but Forza Horizon 4 actually sounds better than this game. Like, that's trying to be like the most jank supercharger ever. For a car that has a thousand horsepower, it actually drives pretty nicely. I mean, it sounds terrible though. So let's go back to the garage and now we can ruin the car. We can mess with just about everything in this vehicle. One thing, for example, what if we come in here and just swap that to all wheel drive? I don't know if that's how that works, but I want to try it. We're also going to reduce the weight of the vehicle. 950, I believe that's in kilograms. Let's bring that weight down to 800 kilograms. That should make us a little bit better. Our engine scale, 1.2, correlates to the amount of horsepower. 1.2 equals 900. So if I change this to 2.4, that should be 1,800 horsepower. Hey, there we go. Unfortunately, one of the downside of adding more horsepower in is uh, it makes the engine a bit of a large boy. 1,800 horsepower. Keep in mind, we only weigh 1,700 pounds now. Are we actually all-wheel drive? We are. As simple as changing one letter, we are now all-wheel drive, so let's go. I haven't modified the gear ratios at all, so bear with me. We will see what we max out. Eight gears? Why do we have eight gears in the ice charger, and why is it still spinning its wheels? We're supposed to be able to do 600 kilometers an hour. We're still gaining speed. There's 400, 420. We're now leaving Bugattis in the dust. 577 kilometers an hour. That is a fast, fast boy. Another round of upgrading later. We've now got extra wide tires. Those are looking good. And we should be lightning quick in a straight line with no drag whatsoever. That is definitely a very interesting looking ice charger now. Let's go. Let's see if it's any faster this time. Look how much speed we're gaining. Look at that acceleration. Okay, there is no drag in this vehicle now. 
That is crazy fast. Our top speed is actually faster. Okay, okay. Let's go tune these gears. I wonder how fast we could go. Do we think we could hit 1,500 kilometers an hour? Look at this speed. 1,300. We're still going. 1,400. 1,006. I feel like an auctioneer. 1,006. 1,006. Going once. Going twice. 1,007. 1,007. Going once. Going twice. And 1,008. Going once. 2,000 kilometers an hour. Oh, 2,195 kilometers an hour. And we go. If you've ever wanted to see a car basically go two times the speed of sound, chuck that one off this list.